and I think we are going to have a connection momentarily. Aha! There you go. Josiah, how you doing, buddy? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I, I apologize if uh, I was slowing down the process. My expertise on Instagram Live is brand new as of today. No, you're good, Hopefully yeah. It'll be easier going forward. How you doing? I'm doing well. How about yourself? I'm doing extremely well. Sometime in the next 72 hours, you are going to get the call. Yeah. Can you describe your emotions right now? Are you nervous? Are you eager? What's going through your mind? Yeah, I mean, I'm just super excited. Um, I know there's going to be a flood of emotions when, you know, that call does come. But um, right here and now, I just say it's a blessing to be in the situation that I'm in. Um, you know, all all the roads that I've been on have led to here. So um, it's just a blessing to be here, and I, I can't wait for this weekend. We hear guys in your position refer to this as a lifelong dream. But sometimes I wonder, when did that dream start to seem like it was possible? Yeah. Um, yeah, for me, you're right. Like, for me, it was always a dream of mine to play in the NFL. I think it is for um, a lot of young kids that, you know, grow up playing football. But it really started to become real, I would say, after my junior year. Um, you know, my first year starting and then um, had, a, had a pretty decent year. And after that, was able to you know, hear my name start start get thrown around a little bit in NFL talks. And um, it's kind of just rose from there. So it's kind of been, you know, a crazy journey. But that's when it, it kind of felt in reach. How have you been preparing, considering what we're all going through right now? Yeah, so I'm out uh, back at home in Sacramento, California. So um, I've been, you know, working out as much as I can on the field, um, being kicked off the field a couple times. Um, so making it work here and there, I got, you know, my garage, my buddy's garage, I got, they got some stuff in it. So um, it's, it's tough, but we're making it work and into a routine has, has been nice. There's a great story about you in your hometown paper, the Sacramento paper about your possibilities uh, where the NFL draft was concerned. And one of the things I found amusing in that story was a team apparently asked you if you are a dog guy, or a cat guy <laughs> yeah yeah is that true yeah yeah the team did ask me that they they asked me cat or dog and then what's the square root of 81 back to back so it was it was an interesting conversation all right square root of 81 is nine so that part i think i would have uh, nailed but yeah if, if a team had asked me if i am a dog guy or a cat guy i would have been worried Torn. about what am i supposed to say as opposed yeah, to just yeah. instantly saying dog guy yeah, I instantly said dog just because that's how I grew up. But I think a bear cat's in a different ca – it's it's in its own category. Um, so that, that's that's why I went with dog. Can you tell at this point, Josiah, which teams are the most interested? Yeah, I mean, throughout the process with, you know, the combine and, um, you know, talking to teams on Zoom and FaceTime, things like that, you talk to teams more than others. Um, you get, you know, different vibes from different teams. But um, at the end of the day, you really don't know – who's going to pick your name. There's stories of guys never talking to teams and them getting picked. So you could definitely tell some teams are more interested, interested than others, but uh, at the end of the day, you just never know. You mentioned the combine and you crushed it in Indianapolis. Number one in the bench press among tight ends, number six in the 40 yard dash, number four in the vertical leap, number five in the three cone drill, number six in the 20 yard shuttle. So you're up there among the leaders in every category, basically, among the tight ends. What did you think that did for your stock? Yeah, I think my goal just going into this whole process was to have my stock rise throughout throughout the whole thing. Um, and I think that's what I've been able to do, you know, um, just take advantage of my opportunities at the Senior Bowl and then as well as at the Combine. Um, I was really happy with my performance. Wish I ran a little bit faster, but um, I did what I needed to do there. Um, and I showed teams what I was able to do and what I already knew I could do. So I kind of proved to myself um, that I could do it. So I, I was pleased with, you know, everything I've been able to do throughout the process. Going back to the Senior Bowl, the executive director is a guy named Jim Nagy. And I happened mm -hmm. to speak to him a few days before the Senior Bowl started. And he was really excited about you. And one of the things he was saying was NFL teams want to see him as an H-back or a fullback just to see how versatile he can be. How much has that come up when you've talked to NFL teams? Yeah, it's, kind of, it's come up a good amount. You know, I got different teams um, saying different things, depending on the team. Um, some see me, you know, doing a little bit more fullback compared to tight end. Some are flip-flop. Um, but I think that just adds to, you know, my strengths. And um, I think my versatility is something that, 
um, helps me out a lot through this process. There's not many things that I, um, I believe I can't do. So uh, I think it's helped me a lot. And whatever team picks me, I'm willing to do whatever they want. I've been doing UC games for 20 years. Mm -hmm. You had the greatest hustle play I have ever seen as a Bearcat broadcaster. It's against an honor. UCLA. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it was, it's an incredible play. Season opener against UCLA. It looks like the Bruins are going to have a pick six to end the first half. And you come flying from 60 yards away, but also from the opposite side of the field. So that adds to the distance mm. and somehow make the tackle to keep the Bruins off the scoreboard. Has that come up? with NFL teams in general and special teams coordinators in particular? Yeah, 100 um, percent. It's come up more than you would think, to be honest, um, especially just be with it just being one play. Um, but I think, you know, even though it wasn't necessarily a good play for our team in that specific moment, it's it's helped me. It's helped me out um, as crazy as it is to say it throughout this process. Um, but it just goes back to, you know, the culture that Coach Fick and everybody at the Cincinnati program instilled in us. Um, and what I kind of pride myself on is, you know, being that hard worker, that no one's going to outwork me, things like that. Um, so it was it was a uh, it was obviously not the best for our team in the moment, but um, I'm glad I was able to make a play for our team. And it's helped me throughout the process. I think you have something in common with the presumptive number one overall pick. Joe Burrow likely to go to the Bengals tomorrow night with the first pick in that you weren't a five star recruit. In your uh -huh. case, a two-star recruit. It looked like you were going to go to Air Force. UC came in late, wound up coming to Cincinnati, and then made yourself into an NFL prospect. Do you think your path has helped you uh, when it comes to appealing to NFL teams? Because it didn't come easily. Yeah, 100%. You know, I wouldn't have had uh, my journey any other way. I think it's made me not only the man who I am, but the player I am. Um, so, you know, kind of having that underdog mentality, you know, coming out of high school, not a, not a lot of teams wanted me. Um, and then same throughout college, just um, overcoming adversity and things like that. It's definitely made me who I am today. Um, and I'm just blessed to, you know, come, at, come, out, come out of it in this situation that I'm in. And um, I, like I said, I'm, I'm blessed for the journey that, that I was on. You have a lot of contacts in the NFL, whether it's former Bearcats like Travis Kelsey, you can reach out to him at a moment's notice, or a couple of your former high school teammates, your former mm -hmm. high school quarterback, Jake Browning, is with the Bears, your former offensive line teammate, Jonah Williams, was the Bengals' first-round draft pick last year and likely to start at left tackle this year. Have those various NFL contacts helped you through this process? Yeah, no doubt. Um, I've talked to... I'm I'm obviously back here in Sacramento, so I've been talking to Jake um, a little bit, Browning, and talked to Jonah throughout it, as well as, you know, some of my former teammates as well. So um, that's just, you know, a blessing to be where I am um, and the school I went to and, and the people I've come across, um, to be able to reach out to them um, throughout this process and ask for different advice, things like that has helped, you know, tremendously. At some point last year during the season, Jonah Williams told me I was supposed to start calling you muscles. But I don't think I, don't think I ever did. <laughs> That's funny. That's funny. Days? Yeah, that goes back to uh, high school days. A couple of my high school buddies started calling me that, and it just it's caught on with, with the guys out in Folsom. Josiah, you had an awesome last couple of years in particular with UC and wound up setting the all-time school record for catches by a tight end. Only Brent Selleck had more receiving yards by a tight end. UC has somewhat of a reputation for being tight end you. Uh, yeah. What does it mean to you to have finished at the top of the record books in, in one category and number two in another? Yeah, I mean, it's it's humbling for me, you know, going into – uh, college is definitely, you know, I set high expectations for myself. Um, so that was definitely something I had in mind. But to be able to, you know, actually go out and be able to have my name even in the same category as those guys. Um, those guys are UC legends and um, obviously had great careers in, in the NFL. So hopefully I could live up to them in their NFL careers. But um, it's just humbling for me to even be talked about in the same conversation as them. All right. Are you ready for some audience participation? Yeah, let's do it. Let's get We've to got it. Questions from Twitter. We've got questions from Instagram. I'll keep an eye on the ones that have been scrolling in in the comments section. Let's start with questions from Twitter. Andrew Young asked the following. If you could emulate Travis Kelsey in one way, would it be A, his game, 
B, his singing ability, or C, his style? Ooh. <laughs> That's a tough one. I would say, I mean, obviously he has great all around those three those three categories. Um, I'll probably say his style, just because I, I I feel like my game's unique to his. Obviously his is next level. Um, my game's a little bit different than his, but um, obviously his his swag and his style walking in the stadium is unmatched. I'm gonna add a D. His salary. Oh, salary. Yeah, I'll take the salary all day. <laughs> I'll take the salary. <laughs> All right, a question from Ryan Johnson. What kind of feedback are you getting from scouts? Where do they see you play positionally? And what player do you remind them of? Uh, yeah, so um, getting good feedback from scouts. I mean, we kind of talked about it a little bit, but scouts were pleased with my performances, both the Combine and and, uh, and Senior Bowl. Um, so they all just want to see me, um, want to see me do my thing, and then they're all – um, the comparisons I've heard is Kyle Juszczyk a little bit for, you know, the 49ers, the kind of do-it-all guy, fullback, H-back, tight end. Um, it's definitely something I could see myself doing in the league. That would be a great comparison. Kyle Juszczyk, I think, is pretty much universally considered to be the best versatile fullback in the NFL, especially yep. with his pass uh, receiving ability. Question from E.G. Young. What teams did you interview with at the Combine? Um too many to list i mean it's the combine is a crazy thing if if you've never heard it's just a huge room full of every team um and you're pretty much getting picked up um meeting after meeting after meeting so throughout the throughout the process i've interviewed with um, nearly every team all right from instagram corey caldwell asked if you could be teammates with any nfl player who would it be oh uh, I think it would be cool to be teammates with uh, my high school teammates. So either Jake or Jonah, um, that would both be pretty cool just to go from, you know, playing high school ball together when we were 14, 15 to playing professional ball. That'd be pretty cool. That's an amazing thing that three mm -hmm. players from the same high school team in Sacramento, California, are about to be in the NFL. No, yeah, we, uh, we had a special group of guys and a special team. And, you know, I'm grateful for all those guys. We still stay in contact, which is pretty cool as well. Undefeated, running clock in every game because you average something like 60 points a game, correct? <laughs> yeah, our, we threw the ball around a lot. Uh, we, had, we had a lot of talent on the field for sure. All right, next question from William Gaines. What was your experience like with Zach Taylor at the Senior Bowl? Yeah, it was amazing. Um, obviously, I had the connection with him from him being at UC, so just to kind of come full circle with him. Um, and catch up a little bit and talk about those days at, at UC was pretty cool. Um, and then also to learn from him and his staff and, you know, Coach Casey, their tight ends coach, it was, it was a great experience and um, got a little bit of NFL taste out there. So it, it was awesome for me. From Ariana or Ariana, with COVID-19 and shelter in place, how have you stayed focused? Yeah, I think you just got to have the mindset, you know, just to, with all the chaos going on, there's still um, just look kind of past it and um, obviously be aware of it and be safe and things like that. But um, you still got to have that mindset that you got to go to work and be ready for whenever this does end. Um, and for me, I'm, I'm going to make an NFL team and trying to make my dreams come true. So that's kind of my motivation through it all. From David, if you weren't going into the draft, what would you want to do with your sports administration degree? Uh, when I'm done with football, I want to be an AD at a high school as well as coach um, for a little football as well. So just kind of have that combo right there after I'm done playing. From Matthew, what would you tell recruits about Cincinnati? Ooh, um, since he's the place to be. I mean, Travis Kelsey said in that one video that he has that they use all the time, but uh, it's the place to be. Um, great fans, great atmosphere. I mean, me coming from the West Coast, I didn't know much about it, um, but it's a great city. Um, the school is, you know, behind the sports teams at all at all costs. Um, diehard fans out there, and um, you know, the atmosphere and the love of the football program in, in general is is awesome. From Landon, what was your favorite win at Cincinnati? Mm. Uh, probably my favorite win was the UCF game. Definitely got to be UCF this last year coming into the nip. And, you know, it, it was rocking that night. So it was a it was a great win for us. 
Did you watch the replay a few weeks ago when they uh, did the Thursday night flashback? Yeah, uh, I watched a I watched a little bit of it for sure. I, I had to. Yeah, it gives you gives you goosebumps a little bit. All right, from Alyssa. Besides football, what was your favorite part about going to UC? Really, just experiencing experiencing you know the i'm from all the way out in california as i said so experiencing kind of the midwest culture a little bit um but obviously the friends i made along along the way the people that i met along the way um so really relationships and building those relationships that i'll have you know for a lifetime is my favorite part besides football from joey who's the funniest guy in the locker room <laughs> oh funniest guy in the locker room i gotta go with my man kobe Kobe Bryant is probably one of the funniest dudes, especially when he imitates people. He's he's hilarious when he does things like that. So I, I got to go with Kobe. All right. I will keep that in mind and ask him uh, the next time we have the opportunity. From Casey, when did your passion for football start? Uh, I mean, I've always had a love for the game, a love for sports since I was, you know, a young, a young kid. I think my passion for football really grew in my middle school years. Um, I was able to um, kind of start taking football more and more seriously going into high school. Um, so I would say that seventh, eighth grade is when, you know, I really started making it my number one sport and focusing on it. From Jackson, what was the best part about the Nippert atmosphere? It's the fans, man. The fans are, the fans are crazy. The ruckus, um, you know, especially getting down into that student section, it gets pretty loud. So um, I love the way the Nips built, you know, into the, into the uh, campus and everything. It's, it's a special place. What did you see out of UC that other colleges didn't have? Mm. Well, when I was getting recruited, my recruiting uh, experience is a little different than most that get to recruited to Cincinnati nowadays, especially with us getting all these great recruits, which is awesome. Um, but really just the big time football that Cincinnati plays in, that was the biggest thing for me. Um, you play, you know, some of the best teams every year um, and you're able to compete day in and day out with some of the best talent in the country. So that's what really drew me to Cincinnati. From Dre, what was your favorite Bearcats uniform combo? Ooh, that's a tough one. <laughs> See, there's the there's the throwbacks, which yes. are nice. The throwbacks, throwbacks were sweet. Uh I love. I mean, I love the all. I love the military bowl uniforms too. We did the. I think it was red pants, white jersey, red helmet with the white face mask. That was sweet. Um, so I, I got to go with the military bowl. That was one of my favorites for sure. I'm all about the throwbacks. I thought the throwbacks were awesome, and I will also throw in that I love the number on a helmet. Yeah, yeah, Any that was nice. Helmet that you had that had the number on the side. Love that. Yeah, the the uh, Birmingham bowl ones were cool too with the black. Yep, I agree. All right, from Grant, what professional player, current or retired, do you try to model your game after? Yeah, so, um, you know, I just try to be a student of the game. And with Travis Kelsey being, you know, a UC legend, I definitely watch him a lot. Um, his feel for the game, his feel for the space in the passing game is um, is next level. So definitely him and then also Kyle Juszczyk, um, especially since I knew I'm going to have to do a little bit of what he does in the league. That's kind of how those are the top two that I've been focusing on, especially within, you know, this last year. The next question is a natural follow-up from Luke. Have you gotten any advice on the process from Travis Kelsey? A little bit. Yeah. Uh, I talked to him a little bit. He just um, obviously just um, gave me good advice and said, just keep doing what I'm doing. Um, that's all I could really do through the process. And that, you know, that's what I've done and um, worked as hard as I can been me throughout this whole process, not trying to be anyone else. Um, so that's a little bit of advice he gave me, um, you know, back before it all started. From Alex, what was the favorite catch that you made last year? Oh, favorite catch. That's a good question. Uh, I probably got to go with the – I ran like a corner route in the corner of the end zone against uh, Miami. I think it was like the third game or fourth game. Um, against Miami, Ohio, and we were wearing the throwbacks, and it was right in the middle of the student section. Um, and I, and the UCLA, I, the, I had the, the first touchdown of the year. The UCLA touchdown was sweet, too. So um, I got to go with those two. Whenever you score right in front of the student section, it's, a, it's, a, it's another feeling. It's awesome. Can I turn the clock back to the previous year? Long juggling touchdown catch. I think it was at UConn. Yep. 
Yeah. That was sweet. Yeah, that was that one, one was good. One hander, too. one handed yeah. juggler. Ju yeah, juggled it a little bit. That was a good one. Yeah, it was good. All right. Uh from Nick. What was your favorite play call or route to run? Yeah, I won't um I think I won't give up the name, but we ran a little option route that I had. Um, and I, I'm a I'm a ball player, so I love, you know, feeling out space, feeling defenses and just seeing, you know, um, what I could do. So uh, we had a little option route where I could go in or out. So that was definitely, you know, my favorite route. From Mason, what former teammate had the best hair? <laughs> I'm guessing this is Mason Garrison. If, if uh, Correct. <laughs> yeah, uh, obviously got to go with Mason there. Um, but Mike got the dreads, too. He got the long dreads, but Mason Mason takes it away with his with his flow. I'm not going to uh, tell you the name of the person who sent the next question. Well, I, I actually I can't avoid saying the name. What it's like. What is it like having a cool sister like Mariah? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got to throw Mariah in there. Oh, it's awesome. Um, I actually need to apologize to her for spilling some water on her laptop the other day. So, mm -hmm. I'm, so I'm sorry, Mariah, but. No, I love her. She's a great sister. Was damage done to the laptop with this spill? Yeah, it was right before right before the end of the semester. So I, I owe her for that one, no doubt. There went that chunk of the bonus. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> From Jake Sopko, who is your favorite backup quarterback that you played with at UC? <laughs> oh, that's tough. I'm going to go with uh, Ben. No, I'm going to go with Sopko, of course. <laughs> Got to go with my man, Sop. From Joe and Dave, this sounds like it might be an inside joke. What's your favorite pool to swim in in Cincinnati? Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, I go to the Met. The Metzger's pool is the best answer. Uh, yeah, shout out the Metzger's. Great family, great Bearcat, great Bearcat fans as well, and they got a great pool. All right, I've been trying to scribble down some of the questions that have been scrolling in in the comments section. Okay. Can you see the Bengals drafting you? Yeah, I mean, definitely. I mean, I've had great, I have great relationship with you know their coaching staff, and um, it would be it would be cool to you know stay in the five one three. So I could I could definitely see it, but again, you never know. How thankful are you that you see hired Coach Fickle during your playing career? Definitely thankful. Um, you know, super grateful for everything that him and his staff brought to um, not only the school but the you know the program, the city, and. Um, I think, you know, the city of Cincinnati is lucky to have Coach Fick, and I'm grateful that I was, you know, a small part of, um, you know, the success that we had here these past few years with, with him instilling it in us. So, What did you think? This is my question. What did you think when he turned down the Michigan State offer? I was – I mean, first of all, I was pumped, you know, for the – because usually with the big coaches and stuff, it's, you know, three and out from, you know. So it was cool to see not history repeat itself and – um Coach, for Coach Fick staying, I think it shows, you know, the trust he has in the players in the locker room and, you know, the guys that are coming in. Um, so they're definitely going to do some special things. Do you have a Tuberville recruiting story? Uh, I got offered a – I got offered my scholarship in, in Grader's Ice Cream. That's where I got my official offer. That's, no wonder that's, you said yes. Yeah, so I had to say yes. I was scarfing down some – uh, blue ra or raspberry, black raspberry chip. So it was black it was raspberry chocolate chip. Yeah, they ship. If you need it in Sacramento, they will have really? to ship you some. There you go. That's good to Absolutely. know. Absolutely. Just don't request boldly Bearcat. It's not available at the moment, but they're uh, they're working on making more. There you go. There you go. All right. Somebody asked the question in the comments section. How have you maintained your luscious beard during this COVID nineteen period? Shampoo and conditioner. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a, I need I need to get a cut actually now that now that we talk about it, we're talking about it, but um yeah, it's just all natural right here. <laughs> As an alum, what are you most th thankful for from your UC experience? It doesn't have to be football related. Mm. I think just the the people surrounding the program and the people in the program, you know, my teammates, my coaches, um all the support we got from people in the Linder building, um, whether it's, you know, academics or um, the AD, things like that. Um, you know, just the support we got from them. And then also, you know, my brothers in the locker room, 
those, those are friendships I'll have for a lifetime. So super um, grateful for them. You are not the only Bearcat at the Combine. Running back Michael Warren was also there. Have you guys been in touch since the end of the season? Yeah, we have. We uh we probably message once or um, once once a week, once every couple of weeks, just seeing how each other are doing. Um, you know, obviously after after the combine, we were saying bye, but thought we were going to see each other in a couple of weeks. But with their plans changed, so um, I know Mike's doing good, and um, I wish him the best throughout this whole process. But yeah, we definitely kept in touch a little bit. So, what's the plan for the next three nights? Uh, really just enjoy the moment and um, you know it's a blessing to be here as I've said and for for me to even have my name mentioned within the NFL draft is just a real moment for me so I'm just going to hang out you know with my close friends um, close family um, and really you know not be glued to the TV and stress about it but just enjoy it. Yeah I've heard from guys over the years they get away they'll go play golf or something yeah I, I don't know it's legal in California right now uh, during the stay at home but uh, some guys don't want to watch the coverage. They want to try to just remove themselves until that call comes in. Yeah, I'll definitely play, I'll definitely be playing some cornhole in the backyard um, <laughs> throughout the time. So That is allowed. Yeah. All right. So I've looked through some uh, websites and some magazines, written down a few comments. These aren't really like mean tweets because most of this stuff is nice. Uh, mm -hmm. But I wanted to get your uh, reaction to some of the stuff that's out there. Are okay. you ready? Yep. From my Athlon Magazine draft guide, quote, seems like a guy who could carve out a lengthy career as a quality role player. What do you think? Uh, I like the lengthy career part, um, but obviously I, I'm a competitive guy, and I believe um, I could be, you know, one of the best tight ends in the league. That's just my mindset. I know I got to go out there and prove it um, and not just say it, but um, – Whatever teams want me to do, I'm going to do everything to the best of my ability. And hopefully, um, you know, it's it's uh, in a role that I can thrive in. From Pro Football Focus, DeGuar is one of the more intriguing route runners in this class, but his lack of size could be an issue at the next level. If you find a high motor plus special teamer like him on day three, you're more than happy. Yeah, I think my size has been talked about throughout the whole process a lot. Um, but I use it as um, a good thing, in my opinion. Just I think it helps my game, and um, it gives me the opportunity to be more versatile and, and play every special team. It's something I know I'm going to have to do. So um, I, I use it as a strength and not a weakness. I thought it was interesting. They pointed out that you lined up as an inline blocker 60% of the time last year. We think of you, or at least I, I kind of think of you as a detached, great receiving tight end, but you are actually attached to the line blocking more than half of the time yeah I think that's something that's kind of a lot of people do is kind of think of me like that but um, when I tell people I blocked more than I caught balls at Cincinnati people are kind of surprised but it's true um, and that's something that I'm honestly grateful for because I got a lot of experience doing a lot of different things um, so I'm really um, grateful for the experience that I had in that in that Cincinnati offense is there a point in the draft and I'm thinking specifically of round Mm -hmm. where you will be happy to go in that round and then a point where you would be disappointed if you went in that round? Uh, I mean, I'm competitive, so the higher, you know, the happier. But, man, any – it's a – like, like I've said plenty of times now, it's it's an amazing thing for me to even be in this moment. So anywhere I get drafted, um, I'm going to be incredibly grateful for it. All right, I think we've uh, taken enough of your time. The day before the draft gets underway, really looking forward to uh, seeing what type team you wind up with. Selfishly, I'd love it to be with the Cincinnati Bengals. Mm -hmm. Call a few more dozen of your touchdown catches, but uh, whatever team is smart enough to take you is going to get a great football player and a great person. And we appreciate uh, the great career you had at Cincinnati, the way you've represented the university and uh, represented our city. And we wish you nothing but the best. No, thanks so much, Dan. I appreciate you for having me. Um, I hope you stay safe and, um, you know, with everything, appreciate what you do for UC as well. Thanks, buddy. Appreciate it very much. Thanks, everybody, for watching and sending in your comments. And uh, here's hoping that uh, Josiah DeGuar is taken very early in the uh, upcoming NFL draft. You've been watching this uh, Instagram live visit with former Bearcats tight end and future NFL tight end 
Josiah DeGuara. So long, everyone.